635 disc. What I'm doing is we're coming down to along the river uh, where we combine corn and I'm going to disc up some of the corn stalks because uh, we wrote down here we rotate yearly so whatever was soybeans will be corn and whatever is corn will be soybeans. So this field that I'm driving through right now was soybeans. This will be corn and where we chopped and uh, combined will be um, soybeans. So I want to break up those stalks and uh, I don't want any volunteer corn in the soybeans. Uh, for those who don't know what volunteer corn is, um, when you have a field of corn the uh, year before and then you plant something like soybeans in it and then you get some, you don't break down the stalks and, and break everything down that good and then you get some few scraggly corn plants sticking out uh, through that other crop. So uh, don't want any of that. Um, so I'm heading over here where we finished off uh, combining. I got two sections here and then I got that other field that did really well for my moisture corn. Uh, I know a lot of people, I've been asked before, because in years past, uh, I'll go out before chisel plowing and break up some of the bigger, thicker stalks. People wonder why do I do that before chisel plowing? And uh, the reason why is, with that old 4420 combine, especially at the end, uh, we were going all the way up till, till Christmas. Um, last year we finished, uh, we finished the Sunday before Christmas is when we finished. So uh, there was already snow on the ground and it didn't give you time to get out. Once I took this off the green car, it didn't give me time to get out and get the uh, tillage done. This year, with the bigger combine, we got done a lot quicker and we were able to get done at uh, Halloween. October 31st, we were done. So that's great, we can get out. Uh, you saw in the last video, my dad's doing some moldboard plowing. He's gonna knock off a couple fields, which are usually wet fields, so I'm glad we can get it now. And uh, you see the difference between where we where we chopped to the combine to the stalks. So I'm gonna go through now. My brother's been putting manure down here, spread manure. Perfect time to get the manure spread before uh, before the snow flies. So we're gonna get this broken up, and uh, yeah. It'll be good, it'll be a nice step ahead because now I don't have to do this next year and I can just get down here, hit it with a chisel plow quick and, and we'll be good to go. Uh, as far as no-till goes, I know a lot of people say we should no-till. Um, we're not really set up, we don't have no-till planters and being a dairy farm, we like to incorporate that cow manure into the, into the, while we're tilling. So, you know what, no-till is not for everybody. It's got its pros and cons. If it works for you, great. Um, if it doesn't, it doesn't. So we we got pretty good results doing it the way we've been doing it. So we're we're gonna stick to that. But anyway, I'm gonna unfold this now and uh, got my drone with me. I'll throw my drone up in the air and get some drone footage as I'm going around. So hope you enjoy.
with the way it looks. Uh, you see it really chopped it up and kind of mixed it up with the dirt. Um, there's still some spots that are sticking up. Now this isn't, I'm not making it look like it's ready to, like we're ready to plant tomorrow or anything like that. What I'm doing is I'm breaking them up, kind of mixing them in with the dirt, and then we'll let uh, Mother Nature take over for the winter and drop some snow on it, let it compost before the snow flies. Uh, my brother's already been over there. He'll probably spread some manure on it. That'll help it break down. And then we'll come back through in the spring. I'm gonna hit it with the chisel plow. That'll break it up some more and I'll disc it. So, um, yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I know some people are gonna ask me why they go with the rose, why didn't I go against it? I've disced it against the rose before. And to be honest with you, it looks just like this, so whatever six to one half dozen the other whatever that expression's called um and i know some people are going to say we should get uh, there's better tillage tools for it yes i know that but we don't have one um and it's not in our budget right now so um using what we have i think it worked up pretty nice like i said i got this section i got that section over there i wanted to hit that one over there but i got it working in the shop on things before i came down so i ran out of time i gotta go up and feed cows so i'm gonna go uh call it a day down here i'll go hit that one tomorrow and then hit the other ones after that but anyway excuse me thumbs up if you like this video drop me a question or comment below hit that subscribe button if you haven't already i truly appreciate everyone who has thank you so much i can't say that enough without you guys this channel is nothing it's just some crazy guy in a yellow shirt walking around out in the field talking to himself. Anyway, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you have, thumbs up to you. I totally appreciate it. Hit that t-shirt icon over my right hand shoulder for Mike P7010 merch. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good one, everybody.